Hello, my name is John Cleveland with Clean Oil USA. And what I'm going to tell you about today is a product called Clean Oil. This is a onboard oil recycling system that can be mounted literally to any engine or hydraulic transmission or even differential fluid can be filtered with these systems. I have two models here, two of our most popular models. This is the KU50, which will filter up to 50 quarts of motor oil or up to 200 gallons of hydraulic fluid. This model here is the KU16, which will filter up to 16 quarts of oil in a system or 150 gallons of hydraulic fluid. Now, the two, the two uh, products are constructed with a stainless steel bracket and constructed of aluminum. The housing is aluminum and the bracket is stainless steel. The model that we're going to be demonstrating today is the KU-16. And as I take the uh, KU-16 apart just to kind of show you uh, the internal parts and the, the real brain in this filtration system is our filter element. Now this filter element is a specific type of paper that is only processed one time. It's not repulped over and over like typical toilet paper although it does appear to look like a roll of toilet paper uh, and it's wound very very tight. You can't even squeeze it. It's so tight. There's approximately uh, uh, 200 yards of filter paper on the KU-50 and 100 yards of paper on the KU-16. Now our oil is actually going to be filtering between the windings of the filter and not through the side. And it's wound so tight that this filter by adsorption is going to take out particles down to one micron and three absolute and it's also going to take 99.95 percent of the water out. We can't take 100 percent of the water out of the oil because in the combustion process and in condensation water is always being generated. But um, we do do total water removal once it passes through this filter. Now on the bottom of the unit you can see that it's cleated and those cleats hold that filter approximately one-eighth to a quarter of an inch uh, above the filter as it sits down on top of that. So there's a cavity that builds up in the bottom here. And there's also a bevel on the bottom where that filter will actually seat. On the top, the lid is also beveled. And what happens is, is the top of the filter will actually crush down on the corners of this filter and it'll actually force the oil to pass between the windings here. And literally millions and millions and millions of soot particles, dirt, wear metals are trapped by adsorption from, from passing through this. Now we can only accomplish uh, filtration down to one micron by slowing down the flow rate. And that's exactly what we do with the clean oil system. If you look at our construction here and also the chart that I'm going to show you. The flow rate of our system is only three quarts a minute. In contrast to the full flow filter which will flow up to 80 quarts a minute. It has a large hole and seven or eight holes about the size of a pencil where that oil returns and under 50 pounds of engine pressure you're actually pushing close to 80 quarts a minute through that filter. The clean oil system, in contrast, you're only filtering two to three quarts a minute. And by slowing it down is how we get that oil purified in our system. So what happens is, is the oil will actually enter the unit from the inlet. It'll come up through the center of the hole right there in the center. It will travel through the center of the filter here in the cone. It will compress off the lid and the filter actually forces the oil between the windings which travel down through the center of the filter. The outlet is at the bottom here which is below that cavity where that oil pressure builds up on the bottom of the filter and it will return through the outlet back to the engine. Now we use a stainless steel 
braided hose and uh, this actually will mount to the fitting on the bottom of the unit and it'll also mount to uh, the pressure side is where we bring the pressure in and then we also have a return hose we actually have two hoses and you will have two fittings very similar to the fittings on the bottom of the bowl here which are JIC number four and a various size of fittings that will return to the engine block and will also um, return back uh, the pressure side in and the return back to the engine block. You've got various different sizes of fittings that will actually go to the engine and just one size of fittings that goes to the bottom of the bowl. Once the uh, system is put together, there is also a sample port that is equipped on the top which is a brass fitting that has a plunger valve in the bottom here and when the lid is taken off there is no oil flow until this little plunger that is set on top of this, this is called our sample probe that fits on the top of the unit and as it is tightened we can collect an oil sample very simply and cleanly without spilling a drop and as we tighten it, we increase flow. As we loosen it, we take the flow away. So it's very, very clean and very easy to take the sample that you need. These samples are routinely taken in the place of an oil change, saving small companies thousands of dollars and large companies millions of dollars in uh, motor oil that's perfectly good as long as it's been cleaned and recycled through the clean oil filtration system. Okay, what I'm going to show you next is this chart here that illustrates the particles that the clean oil system is taking out that the full flow filter is missing. And tribologists and lubrication engineers across the world agree that it's the small particles that causes engine wear and causes most of your problems, not the larger particles. The small particles are illustrated down here, and these particles can range anywhere from 3 microns all the way up to 20 microns. And standard filtration is actually down to about 25 microns. And visible to the naked eye is anywhere from 35 to 40 mi 45 microns. The average diameter of the human hair is somewhere between 60 and 75 microns. All the particles below 25 microns are passing through the full flow filter at a rate of 80 quarts a minute. The clean oil bypass filtration system takes all particles out from 25 microns down to 3 absolute and even down to 1 nominal. But 3 microns is about the level of a oil film when the engine is loaded and anything under three microns is not causing any damage so we definitely want to filter down to three microns which is what the absolute level is and we even take out two and one micron particles uh, nominal now the importance of that is is this ISO 4406 chart over here illustrates a cleanliness standard put out by the International Standards Organization now what this does is it actually tracks Particles uh, from 5 microns to 14 microns in this on this uh, column. And on this column here, they track particles 15 microns and greater. The significance of the ISO 4406 is to count the particles that are related to wear. And that's why they're not concerned with particles 25 to 50, 50 to 100. Brand new oil out of the jar, brand new oil out of the can, pail, drum, is going to meet an 1815 in most cases. What happens when you start your engine and start putting miles or hours on your equipment, the ISO code starts to pick up more dirt, more soot, more carbon, and the uh, cleanliness starts to move upward. With a clean oil bypass filtration system installed, we actually take the brand new oil, and because brand new oil is not perfectly clean, uh, it has 1,300 to 2,500 uh, 5 micron particles per milliliter 
and it has anywhere from 160 to 320 15 and greater micron particles. So brand new oil, contrary to popular belief, is not perfectly clean. After it passes through our system, we actually filter four to five times cleaner than the standards of brand new motor oil. And that's exactly what we're trying to do is get your oil down here in this, in this level of cleanliness. Now the benefits of that is that you can actually extend oil drain intervals four to five times with a clean oil system alone and with an additive package that we sell separately called Power Up, we can even take those, uh, extend those oil drains eight to ten times. And all this is all obviously is considered on the conditions and the, uh, uh, the, the conditions that the equipment is operating in, but this is the average and the norms. We've actually uh, done engines and extended oil drains 20 times, but uh, we're just trying to deal with averages here today. Now, <clears throat> the next thing I want to talk about is how these particles relate to wear. When the full flow filter allows these particles through, most engine, the, the uh, film, oil film, between the moving metal parts in your engine actually compress and expand in, in the range of 3 microns to 15 microns, depending on the load that the engine is under. And what happens is, is those particles that the full flow filter allows through just as freely as the oil get trapped in between these surfaces, causing abrasion and wear, as you can see photographed here on these bearings. This is a bearing here taken out of a CAT 3406 with close to 200,000 miles on it without clean oil on a truck pulling a tandem milk truck trailer and this is the same bearings out of the same truck with a clean oil system installed on it with 1.8 million miles on it and you can see the difference in, in between uh, the two photographs here and where. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about is the mounting of the system. Uh, the brackets here uh, are made from stainless steel and you always mount to the frame, never to the engine, and you always want to mount in a place where you're, it's easy access to get to. But the small compact size of our system and the KU50 make it easy and uh, some of uh, the competitor systems uh, are three to four times the size of our system here. Okay, well that's pretty much everything that I had to tell you today. To find out more on how to run all your equipment on clean oil all the time or to find your nearest local distributor, visit our website at www.cleanoilusa.com or call us at 1-800-897-6937. And remember, go green, keep it clean, and make green the new color of your bottom line.